Stanislaw with Motion VFX, and in this exciting tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to use M Freeze Frame Movie inside Final Cut Pro 10 to make your footage more cinematic. Once you have M Freeze Frame Movie installed, let's go inside the Titles and Generators tab to find them. Next, I'll click on M Freeze Frame Movie. Inside are several different typography templates, M Freeze Frame templates, overlays, and backgrounds. Let's take a look at how to use one of these freeze frame templates. I'll pick one and drag it above my clip and place it in my timeline. All our clips can be shortened and trimmed by just dragging the edges. I'll move this to the side just to give myself a little bit more room on my screen. Let's play back to review the effect. All of our different templates will animate in and then animate out at the end of their template duration. To change any of these items, let's open up the inspector in the top right corner of Final Cut Pro. At the top of our inspector, we have our animation controls. By unchecking this box, now my animation will not animate out, so it'll play that effect until the last frame that that template's on my timeline. Right now we've seen a preview of about half the effect. Next, let's choose a frame and I'm going to pick this frame and hit M on my keyboard to leave a marker for myself. And inside the canvas, I'll hit the set curtain frame button. Now I'll draw my mask by clicking and making points along my path. If I need to make a curve, I'll click and drag to make tangents. You need to adjust a single tangent, just hold on to the ALT key and then drag that single tangent. Continue to draw your mask completely around your character. If you need to, use the magnification controls inside the canvas to better zoom in. To close your mask, click on the first point. It's always a good idea to double check your mask and if you need to remove any points, use the remove point button. You can also select multiple points by using the multiple point selection tool. To save, load, or clear a mask, Click the rightmost icon. With the mask complete, we can see what the effect has created. It's made a little widescreen and it's blurred out the background. We can control all these different features inside the inspector. At the top, we have our mask controls. Here you can set your mask feather and animation and a bit of color and saturation as well. Below the mask settings are background settings. Inside this template, I can adjust the blur and prism. Below the background controls are controls for the light leaks that are included inside the different presets. So inside here we can adjust the different positioning or color or other values. The next feature is one of my favorites and this is a LUT colorization dropdown. Think of this as a mini LUT pack that's included inside every single one of these templates that you can just click and review different looks. And below that, there's even a particle generator. So we can add small dust particles in the background inside each and every one of these templates. Let's check out some of these cinematic titles that are included. I'll just drag one and place it above my last template, then trim the end. Next, I'm gonna reposition my title. So I'll use the on-screen controller to just grab it and put it where I'd want it to be. Inside the inspector, I'll make the changes to my text, and that could be font, positioning, or even color. I like the way that's starting to look, but let's add an overlay effect to this. Think of these overlay effects as like extra small animations or textures that can be placed onto different pieces of footage or even combined with these different templates. Here I've added the image effect to give it a little bit more texture with that text. My text is animating out and the reason for that is because my animation in out is on by default. So if I turn that off just like in the beginning and play this back, now my text should stay there until the end. I also mentioned there's backgrounds included and backgrounds can be used alone with text or with different pieces of footage. Here I'm going to just make some changes to the background using my inspector controls Next, I'll blur this out and add some text to go right on top of it. I 
think this will work better at the beginning of my storyline, so I'll cut it here and paste it in the front. I've added some music and another title to this project. Let's have a look. Mm -hmm. 